Reels? Hey, big bro. See you later. You're back. so excited. There's a chance she might get kidnapped. Come on, we should go there tomorrow. Uh, what was it called again? Uh, oh yeah, Maruku Tofu. Dude, my heart's pounding already. We'll see you tomorrow. Did you hear? 
It looks like Risei Kujikawa really is here. You know the tofu store, Maruku? The owners of that place have the same last name, Kujikawa. Seriously? Hey, I practically live next door. I've been hearing that there's a big crowd at Maruku. I'm not surprised. But was it really her on yesterday's Midnight Channel? Didn't she seem a little... different? It was her, no doubt about it. Her curves, her posture, even her beautiful slim legs. What's that look for? Anyways, I'm positive, right? Uh, are we going? I don't really care about celebrities, but it's not like I got anything better to do. Sure. Sorry, but me and Yukiko have plans. Give us a call if anything comes up. Well, shall we get going? But let's be clear on one thing. We're not spectators. We're on an investigation, got it? Huh? Uh, Mr. Detective, did something happen? Oh, it's you guys. Ay, ay, ay. These gawkers keep streaming in with their cars, trying to park in the middle of this shopping district. Why is that? Don't you know? Risei Kujikawa's here. Hey, did you see her already? Is she there? Which is it? Huh? We're asking why a plainclothes detective is here doing traffic control. Oh, uh, well, the Inaba Police Department isn't that big. We don't have enough staff. Well, I still have work to do, so I'll see you later. Dude, you managed to scare off a police detective on active duty! I wasn't trying to scare the guy. I just said what I was thinking. But you're right. It's weird for the police to come out like this. Hey, you think the police suspect that Risa might be the next target too? All right, clear out. Coming through. Hey, Adachi! Damn it, I told him not to leave his post. What are you guys doing? Hmm? Kanji Tatsumi? Are you friends with them? Like it's any of your business. If you say so. So I'll ask again. What are you all doing here? come check it out if they found out an idol's family ran an ordinary tofu store. I'm a, a big fan. Hmm. Fine. But remember, she might be a celebrity, but this is her home. Try not to bother them too much. That cop's your uncle, huh? So, what the hell was that about? Are you guys under suspicion? Well, they did take us in once. But we can't just tell him everything, right? If we say anything about the other world, we only look more suspicious. They'll be watching us all the time. You got a point there. Ah, man. There's no one in there but the old lady. Rosetta isn't here after all. I heard that she really is already here, but it might have just been a rumor. Well, it was fun while it lasted. You sound like the world's about to end. Shut up! Anyways, now that all those people are gone, we might as well check inside. I'll buy something. How'd you know I can't eat tofu? Wow, that's considerate of you. Wait, what's gam modoki again? Is it the kind with a rice cake in it? 
There's no rice cakes in them. They're sort of like fried tofu patties with veggies and stuff mixed in and... Oh, okay. I know what you mean. I think I can eat that. Let's see here. Sure enough, the only one here is your typical old lady. Man, why don't you just ask if she's in back? Excuse me. Uh, yes, may I help you? What the... then who's that? What? <sighs> uh, are you Rise? Yeah, so? No way! Are you really Rosette? What do you want? Huh? Oh! Sorry, um, uh, some tofu, please? Tofu? Which kind? Huh? W which one's which again? If you're going to eat it by itself, you should go with silken. Moment's better for cooking. Depends how you use it. Uh, uh... Psst, Kanji, order something! <laughs> Why are you making me do it? You already picked Ganmo a second ago. Dude here wants three Ganmonoki. Oh, I see. I'll go get them. Wow. She's nothing like she seems on TV. I wonder if she's just tired. Man, but it's really her! I'm so glad I came. Mission comp- Wait, we haven't done what we came here for yet. Um, uh, have you noticed anything weird lately? Weird? Like stalkers? Are you guys fans of mine? I wouldn't say we, but yeah. Dude here is a big fan. You little... Why'd you let that slip? Her curves, her posture, even her beautiful slim legs. You finished checking them out yet or what? You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? I didn't say that. I never said any of that. Maybe you know already, but it's been dangerous in Inaba lately. And that's why we've been investigating some stuff. Oh, yeah? Sorry, um, uh, let's see. Do you know about the TV show that comes on at midnight? I mean, it's not like regularly scheduled programming. Uh, how do I explain this? That thing that was on last night. The Midnight Channel, yeah? Oh, you know about it. Wait, what? You, you mean you saw it last night? I heard the rumors from some friends of mine. But that girl last night wasn't me. I've never been filmed wearing that swimsuit before. And the bust line. Huh? Mine aren't that big. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean now. I mean, what am I saying? Um, I'm sorry. Don't apologize so much. You're funny. Hey, she smiled. What is that show about, anyway? Well, we're not too sure either. But you know there's been stuff happening here, right? We think the people who appear there are the ones who get kidnapped next. I know this is sudden, but we're not lying. Yeah, that's why we thought you should know about it. Huh, so that wasn't a dream. I was tired yesterday, but I couldn't sleep. And it was raining, so I decided to try that rumor I'd heard about. Hmm. All right, thanks. I'll be careful. Here you go, three ganmo. That'll be 600 yen. There's extra tofu in there for everyone. A little thank you for worrying about me. Whoa, seriously? Thanks! Uh, Yosuke-senpai, you can't eat tofu, right? Want me to take yours? Hell no, I always eat what people give me. Thank you very much. Your receipt's in the bag. Seems like the crowds are thinning out, so we'll be leaving now. If it gets rowdy again, just give us a call at the station. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. I'm sorry. But there's some things I'd like to ask you. You do know that there have been multiple violent cases around here lately, yeah? Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Not really. 
It's been like always. Like always? Well, you're an idol, so I imagine you deal with folks like fans, paparazzi, and stalkers quite often. What made you take a break from showbiz? Does it really matter? I just needed a rest. And have you registered for school? I'm planning on going to Yasugami High. It was the closest. I don't mean to alarm you, but you do have some things in common with the recent victims. That's why... I might be kidnapped, right? I've been told that before. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Huh? Someone told you already? It was three guys. They were wearing uniforms, so I think they were high school students. Did one of them happen to look... How do I put it? Did he look something like a, a gang member? Wait! You think she's talking about your nephew and his friends? Hmm. Something smells here. The recent disappearances. Between those and the two homicides, there's too many questions with no answers. To tell the truth, I followed my detective's intuition and came here to warn her. How could high school kids who know less than we do beat us to the punch? Were they just making up an excuse to talk to a famous celebrity? Or... <laughs> Sir? Yasugami Hai. The second victim, Saki Konishi. And two other students who were missing for a while. I guess the investigation of the ones involved with the school hasn't turned up anything either. Are we gonna be in trouble if this keeps up? The prefectural police will be coming soon. They're the least of your worries. Keep your head in the game. We sure have a lot of tofu. Yeah, it tastes great. You visited Risei Kujikawa today. What did you talk about? I see. <sighs> Forget it. I, I shouldn't have brought it up. You guys met Risei chan <sighs> Yeah. Are you fighting again? Of course not. Here, hurry and finish your dinner. seemed a lot creepier than the real Rise, but you could see her face clearly. There's no mistake. Let's all get together as soon as possible tomorrow. So about the Midnight Channel last night, that had to be Risei Kujikawa. It even showed her face this time. So now we know one more thing. The ones that the culprit's targeting are... Exactly. So we can rule out the assumption that all the victims are connected to the incident with Ms. Yamano. As for Risei, I took a peek this morning and she was still at the shop. So I'm guessing that... TV show thing doesn't appear on the Midnight Channel until after the person enters the TV. Teddy said before that it might be the victim's own creation upon entering that world. I didn't understand at all at first, but now I feel it may be true. 
the one that appears on TV is your other self. Maybe the victim's true feelings are shown unconsciously. But we see them on the Midnight Channel before they disappear. You know, when it's still really fuzzy and you can't tell who it is. How do you explain that part? Yeah, it always happens before the person disappears. Like an advance notice. Or like a ransom note. But who are they announcing it to? And for what? I don't know. Ask the killer. There's a bunch of stuff I still don't understand. Is it possible that we see those images for the same reason? Huh? What do you mean? If the Midnight Channel shows the victim's true feelings, maybe it does the same for the culprit. Maybe what we're seeing is the culprit's intentions. Well, it's a possibility. The killer can throw people into the TV after all, which means they must have the same power that we do. So, when the killer thinks, I'm gonna attack someone now, that's what we see on TV? I don't know about that. Well, if we're gonna go that far with it, we might as well say that's the basis for that entire world. Like it's some kind of mix of the minds of the victims and the killer. Or maybe it's everyone's minds. <sighs> as always, nothing makes sense. Hey, Kanji-kun, you still with us? You haven't said a word yet. Huh? What? Uh... Um... Well... Um... You weren't sleeping, were you? Uh, of course not. I was, uh... <clears throat> lost in thought. <sighs> I wish I knew what that world's all about. Teddy's explanations have so many maybes in them that I don't understand the first thing about it. Why would the culprit throw people inside the TV in the first place? They must know by now that people die when they're in there long enough. There's no doubt it's attempted murder. So the TV's a good way to do that, because the police can never prove anything about the crime. Murder, huh? So the killer's got a grudge against certain people? <laughs> well, I know there's a shitload of people who've got my number. How about you, Yukiko-senpai? Anyone hate you so bad they'd get rid of you forever? No. Uh, Yukiko? There's always a slight chance, and you just don't realize it. <laughs> but if we're trying to think of a common grudge someone would have against all the victims, well, I'm drawing a blank. Well, the good thing is we have another shot at getting ahead of the killer. We can leave the motive aside for now. Once we catch him, we'll make him talk. The only thing we can be sure of now is that Rise is in danger. Wait, we get to do another stakeout? Hell yeah! This time we'll catch him in the act. We gotta go with donuts and milk. You said it. There's no better meal than that for a man on a stakeout. Oh, and throw in some disposable diapers. Even sell those here. We have them at Juness. Oh, too much information. You guys finished yet? Let's hurry up and get going. Huh? What brings you here? Oh, uh. Well, I'm doing legwork. Uh, what did I do to deserve babysitting detail? I mean, it's nothing major. It's not like Dojima-san ordered me here. So, what are you kids up to? Buying snacks? We were just about to head over to the tofu shop to see Rise-chan. Oh, I see. Uh, hey, I'm on my way there too. Oh, then why don't we go there together? Come on. He's a detective on active duty. <laughs> Not a bad guy to have around. Don't stop. The culprit might get suspicious. Well, we walked past her like a thousand times already. Come on out, you bastard. We're ready for you. 
Look! Uh, who, who's there? Hey, he's running away! Get back here! Stop running, damn it! Come near me! Shut up! What kind of idiot would listen to... I'll do it, you know. What are you gonna do if I get run over? What? No! If the suspect gets injured, the police will be held responsible. They'll get really angry and... Uh... I'll do it, I swear! S -s get out of here and stop chasing me! Hey, what should we do? How are we supposed to get behind him? Come on, let's just take him down. All right, on my mark. Look, over there, a Martian! Oh! How dare you assault an ordinary citizen like... Shut the hell up, murderer! We're taking your punk ass in! What? Time out! What do you mean, murderer? It's no use playing dumb! W wait a second! I just really like Rosette, so I wanted to take a peek in her room! Look, see? All I've got on me is a bunch of cameras! Yep, you're the culprit, all right. No two ways about it. All right. I'll take it from here. We'll hear your story down at the station. <laughs> I've waited to use that line. Please, let me go! I didn't do anything wrong! I know for a fact it's not a crime in this country to take secret pictures! Hey, don't you understand what's happening here? You're under suspicion of murder. Come with me. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> 